Ontario Power Generation is moving ahead with a plan to extend the life of the aging Pickering nuclear generating station by decades. This as the province tries to secure more electricity supply in the face of increasing demand. Manisa Danabalin joins us live with more on this. Hi there, Manisa. Hey Taz, the current license to operate the four units in question expires at the end of this year and the OPG has asked the Nuclear Safety Commission to extend that to 2026. The commission will also have to approve the refurbishment. Energy Minister Todd Smith asked the OPG in 2022 to study the feasibility of refurbishing those units at the nuclear plant which have been operating since the 1980s. Smith announced today that the project will proceed and the OPG plans on spending $2 billion on engineering and design work. It's expected to be completed in the mid-2030s. Pickering produces about 14% of the province's electricity. Today, Smith asked wh why the province isn't investing in wind and solar energy instead, and he said this would be the best bang for the buck. What potentially would be required to uh, provide that type of generation to replace the 2,000 megawatts that would come from a refurbished Pickering, and what they found was it would be 18,000 megawatts of wind and 2,000 megawatts of battery. And I want you to think about that. Um, we have 5,000 installed megawatts of wind in our grid right now, which would be an almost four times uh, number to, to, to put wind up uh, to match what we can get from this small footprint. The Ontario NDP says the Conservatives will need to be fully transparent by releasing the feasibility study and financials for the project. Taz?